In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set up a WordPress page template. It's not a custom post type, it's actually a template that's added on to existing pages on your site that you can choose from in a drop down and allows you to tweak the design of pages or create completely custom pages like a contact us page or an about page and just switch on that template using a drop down in the page editor. Now I don't know exactly what you want to use this for, so my instructions here are pretty general, but if you have some specific use cases you want to talk about, leave a comment in the comments down below and we'll see what we can do. And we're getting started right now. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. It's Bjorn from WP Learning Lab, where we help you get better at WordPress so you can earn more for yourself, for your clients, and for your business. If you're new here and you like WordPress and you want to learn more about it, you want to learn WordPress tips and tricks and all the cool stuff you can do with it, Click the subscribe button, then click the bell notification icon so you don't miss anything. And if you like deals, I've negotiated a killer discount with InMotion Hosting up to 57% off their plans. Not every plan has a big of a discount, but every plan is discounted. So if you're looking for new hosting for yourself or for a client, check out the description down below. There's a link there. I'll tell you all about how to cash in on that discount. With that out of the way, let's head in the screen capture and start doing some WordPress. First, I'm going to show you specifically where we work with page templates. So if you go to any page, I'm just going to add a new one, but you can go to an existing page and see these options as well. Inside the page editor, if you scroll down the right hand side, if you have this page attribute box open, there's a templates section with a drop down. And this theme currently has a default template, which every WordPress site will have. And this one has a blank page template as well. And the, the name to me implies if you choose this template, the page will be blank. So uh, clearly you want to have terms in here that describe what the page actually does. I'm going to show you that in just a second. But this is where you apply page templates. These are very different than custom post types. Those that appear on the left hand side here. For example, groups and activity and products, those are all custom post types. Page templates are used within the default pages in WordPress to change the design of any page you choose. And that allows you to not do as much coding as you need to, to make a custom post type. To create these page templates, what we need to do is go into our cPanel or through FTP. I'm going to open File Manager because I find that easier. I'm going to navigate to public underscore HTML, WP content, themes. My currently active theme is this one. It is a child theme of Divi. If I open this up, we see we have no page templates. Page.php is the default page. And then you have page dash template name dot PHP. That'll be a page template. And those are all still in the parent theme. If we go to the parent theme, we look for page. We see here is the default page. And here is the page dash template dash blank, which when we go back into here, we have this blank page option. That is this file right here. If we open this, let's open this one in the editor. No, oh, first this one. Let's open this one in the editor. We see at the very top, we have this piece of code. Template name is blank page. You'll notice that this text right here is the exact same as this here because that's where this name is pulled from. And the rest of the page is custom coded. More than likely it's created by the Divi developers. If we open the regular page in the editor, we will see there is no page template command at the top. This is just the default page. Now what we wanna do and what you probably want to do for your pages is we're going to copy the page file into our child theme. I'm going to put it into WP PhD. If you don't have it memorized, you might want to go find out what it is, but we're going to copy just the page.php into our child theme. So if we go back into our child theme, we now have page.php. This is the default one. I'm going to change the name. I'm going to rename it to page dash template dash no sidebar. This is just arbitrary for this example. I'm just going to make a page that has no sidebar. You will have different use cases. You can have a custom page template for a contact us page or for an about page. Depends on what you want to use it for, but you can have these installed in your theme and really easily switch back and forth inside the editor as you just saw. Now that we've updated the name to something more descriptive, I'm going to open it in the editor. And at the very top, I'm going to put that code that the other one had, which you can pull from the blog right here. 
Now there's something important to note. You see that in the code that I have here, it has PHP opening and closing tags. If you're gonna put it inside a PHP block, like it is here, here's a PHP open. We don't wanna have another PHP open. So we have a big X right here. So we're gonna take out that PHP open, take out the PHP close, and now we have valid code again. So depending on your situation, you might have to do that, or you might not, depending on what the situation is with the, with the page you're working on. In my case, I did. I'm gonna add some space to make it look pretty. I'm gonna call this template, no sidebar. Then click on save. Now when I go back into my page editor and refresh this page, go down to our dropdown here, we now have a no sidebar option, which wasn't there a few minutes ago. Now this no sidebar currently is the exact same as a default template, no change. Let's actually make a page. Let's call this no sidebar. Wow, and this is actually a bad example because in the Divi theme, you actually have settings in the page load up here. You can actually choose full width, which means no sidebar. So if you're using Divi and you wanna make a no sidebar page template, don't, because you can just set it right here. So this would be for other themes that don't have that option or in Divi theme, if you wanna create something that doesn't exist in there. And again, I, I don't know what you're trying to create. So I can't make this tutorial specific to one specific thing that you want unless you let me know. So let me know in the comments down below if there's something specific you wanna make and we can see if page templates are the way to go and I can make a custom tutorial on that if it's popular enough. So check out this page. It's gonna have a sidebar and we're gonna change the template file so there's no sidebar. So here's our sidebar over here. If we go into our template file, and if we go through this code, at some point the sidebar is gonna be called. Let's have a little look through. Here's the content. The sidebar will likely be after the content. There's the comments. There it is, get sidebar. Put two forward slashes in there. I don't wanna delete it completely. I could just go boom, gone. But then if I ever wanna go back and revert back, I have to go and look up the code and fi probably find the original page and paste the code back in. So instead what I'm gonna do is just add these two slashes. It's called a comment. That will comment out all the PHP code on this line. Click on save changes, refresh this page. Now if all went well, the sidebar is gonna be gone. And it's not, so let's make sure we actually have the right template selected. And we don't on default. So let's choose no sidebar, click on update. Now let's head back out here, refresh the no sidebar page, and now the sidebar should be gone. So now the sidebar over here is gone. We have this right hand border, which is part of the post container, not the sidebar. That's why it's still visible. And likely, no matter what scenario you have, you're gonna have to tweak the CSS after you create a page template. And I don't know what you wanna do specifically, so I can't really address that here, but leave a question down in the comments below that we can get into more specifics about your situation. But as for right now, this is all it takes to build a page template, then you just customize it with CSS. And inside the builder, any page you wanna apply it to, you can just come in here into the editor, pick the appropriate page template, click on update, and that page template is applied to your page. So that's how easy it is. I hope this video helps you. If you haven't done so yet, click subscribe, then click the bell notification icon so you don't miss anything. Check out the half off or more than half off for some plans hosting offer in the description down below or on the card that popped up. And next up is clicking one of these videos that popped up on the right hand side so you get even better at WordPress. And until next time, keep crushing it and I will see you in the next video.